Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. A milestone was reached in Ukraine's ongoing battle against landmines as the first GCS-200 remote-controlled demoning vehicle was ceremoniously handed over from Hamburg to the Ukrainian ambassador to Germany. This symbolic transfer marked the beginning of a concerted effort to bolster Ukraine's demoning capabilities, with additional units scheduled for delivery in the coming months. The decision to ramp up support for Ukraine's demoning initiatives was initiated by the Hamburg Senate in September 2023, reflecting a commitment to solidarity and humanitarian aid. With an allocation of approximately 10 million euros, measures were set in motion to expedite the procurement and distribution of aid supplies. This partnership between Hamburg and Kiev, solidified by the Pact for Solidarity and Future, has laid the groundwork for a comprehensive assistance program, spanning from medical supplies to demoning equipment. A pivotal player in this endeavor is the Swiss company Global Clearance Solutions, GCS, which has stepped up to supply an increased quantity of demoning equipment to Ukraine. While exact figures remain unspecified, recent donations from Canada and Germany, coupled with forthcoming deliveries from Germany, underscore the international community's commitment to addressing Ukraine's demoning challenges. Notably, GCS has announced ambitious plans to scale up their contribution, aiming to provide a total of 70 demoning units to Ukraine by mid-2024. At the forefront of this effort is the GCS-200, a remote-controlled demoning platform designed to tackle a wide range of mine clearance tasks. Equipped with advanced features such as a tiller for deep excavation and a flail for ground clearance, the GCS-200 boasts the capability to neutralize both anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. With a daily demoning capacity of up to 12,000 square meters, this vehicle's remote operation ensures safe and precise clearance activities in even the most hazardous environments. Ukraine's urgent need for demoning equipment stems from its status as the most heavily mined country in the world, a grim legacy of the Russian invasion and ongoing hostilities. Despite significant progress in acquiring mechanized demoning machinery, challenges persist due to the proliferation of explosive remnants of war and the use of unconventional munitions by Russian forces. To address these challenges, international manufacturers have stepped in to offer a diverse array of mine-clearing vehicles, providing Ukraine with crucial resources to accelerate clearance efforts. In parallel with international support, the Ukrainian government is actively fostering local production capabilities to supplement its demoning arsenal. Through partnerships with international original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, and initiatives to support small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, Ukraine aims to bolster its domestic manufacturing capacity while leveraging expertise from abroad. This dual approach ensures a sustainable long-term strategy to meet Ukraine's demoning requirements effectively. As Ukraine continues to navigate the complexities of post-conflict reconstruction, the concerted efforts of international partners and domestic stakeholders are essential in mitigating the threat posed by landmines. By combining technical innovation with strategic collaboration, Ukraine can pave the way for a safer and more secure future for generations to come. That's all for now, see you later.